Hi guys, welcome to another video by Dark Link Does Math. The content in this video is geared towards 6th grade math standards. These videos are public so that my students may access this information easily, as well as anyone else looking for math help. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do not, I hope you can find what you're looking for elsewhere. There's a lot of information out there. Be aware that I'm not perfect, so there may be the occasional mistake. I apologize in advance if this should happen. So, today we're going over 10.3 area of other polygons. So in my other videos, we have gone over area of triangles, parallelograms, trapezoids. Now we're going to go over other polygons such as pentagons, heptagons, hexagons, and kites. Essentially shapes that are made up of multiple triangles. So we only have one vocab term. It would be a regular polygon. Regular implies equal or the same size. Uh, so regular polygon would be a polygon whose sides are all the same length and the angles are all the same measure. Okay, so we have three examples of regular polygons. That means all their sides are the same. All right, so what does that mean? If I wanted to, I could split this regular one, two, three, four, five sided shape, which would be a regular pentagon, I could split it into identical triangles. So I could put a center point and then to each vertex to the center, make a line. And you'll notice it can be split into five triangles. Every triangle is the same size. Again, this applies to regular polygons. Again, regular means all the sides are the same. And because all the sides are the same, these triangles that we divide them up into will be the same size or have the same area. Okay, so how many sides did this regular pentagon have? It had five sides. And you'll notice that the number of triangles that we were able to divide it into was also five. Okay, our next. Actually, before I move on, if I was to find the area of this, I would just need the base of one of these triangles and the height of one of the triangles. And again, they're all identical, so it doesn't matter which one you had the information for. They're all the same. So if you have the base and height of one of the triangles, you can find the area of the whole shape. Okay, now the next. So, how many sides does this regular polygon have? It has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. What would we call this? We would call it a regular hexagon. If I split it into triangles, they would all have the same area. Let's see, how many triangles do I think I would get? Well, the first one we split, or had five sides, we are able to split it into five triangles. Let's see if this will be split into six triangles, since it had six sides. Let me 
center point was slightly off. And the minimum number of triangles we can split it into is six. So five sides, five triangles, six sides, six triangles. If I wanted to find the area of this regular hexagon, again, I need information about one of the triangles because every triangle will be the same size. And if I can find one, I just multiply by how many there are. So again, what information would I need? I would need the base of one of the triangles and I would need the height of that triangle. All right, third one. How many sides does this have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sides. All the same size. So this would be a regular heptagon. How many triangles could I split it into? Or how many, what's the minimum number of triangles I could split it into? Let's see if it's going to be seven and follow the trend. Let's see if I can get the center point right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven triangles. So what have we just observed? When you divide a regular polygon up into triangles, the minimum number of triangles it can be divided up into will match the number of sides of that shape. So if it's seven sided, it will have, or you can divide it into seven equal triangles. Now, what use is this information. If we wanted to find the area, again, you would need the information or for one of those triangles and you can multiply how many triangles there are to get the whole area. There is a specific formula you can use this formula works for any regular polygon, such as regular pentagons, regular hexagons, regular heptagons, and many more. It is area equals one half base times height, which is the formula for area of a triangle, plus one extra letter, S. S stands for number of sides. Now, why does this formula work? Well, if a regular polygon has seven sides, that means it can be divided into seven triangles. So if you find the area of one of those triangles and multiply by how many sides there are, such as seven, you're essentially taking it and multiplying it by seven triangles. So again, our formula is area equals one half times base times height times how many sides are there, essentially. How many triangles are there? All right, let's apply that. Our first example, we're going to find the area of a regular polygon. Patrick drew a regular pentagon. That means five sides that are the same size with side lengths of 16 centimeters. He divided the pentagon into five identical triangles. And I'm just going to freehand this. So not very pretty. And he measured the height of one of the triangles. Again, they're all going to be the same to be 11 centimeters. Find the area of the Pentagon. So first step, write your formula. I want the area of the Pentagon. It's a regular polygon. So we're going to use area equals one half times base times height times number of sides. Again, not a number. This is a letter. OK, 
kind of looks like a five. And that's a common misconception. All right, next step, substitute. So area equals one half times the base of one of the triangles is 16. The height of one of the triangles is 11. How many sides are there? It's a pentagon, so it's got five sides. Next step, solve. So area equals one half times 16 is eight. Next step, area equals eight times 11 is 88. And last step, 88 times five we get 440. Now, this is area, so what should our units be? Area is how many squares of a certain size will cover a surface. So we're measuring in centimeters, so it's going to be 440 centimeters squared. We can cover this regular pentagon in 440 centimeter size squares. Next example. Joanna has a hexagonal placemat. Hexagonal simply means six sides, as you can see in the picture. She measured the sides and found that they were all 9.3 inches long. Then she divided the hexagon into six identical triangles. She measured the height of one of the triangles and found it to be eight inches. Find the area of the placemat. So our formula is area equals one half times base times height times number of sides, because that will tell us how many triangles are in it. Next step, substitute. Area equals one half times the base of one of the triangles is 9.3. The height of one of the triangles is 8. And how many sides? It's a hexagon, so it's got six sides. Next step, start solving step by step. Area equals 1 half times 9.3. We get 4.65. We still have to multiply by eight and six. All right, next step, area equals 4.65 times eight. We get 37 and two tenths. And last, we still need to multiply by six. So area equals 37 and two tenths times six, we get 223 and two tenths. Now we need a label. We are finding area. Area is how many squares of a specific size will cover a shape. We're measuring in inches. So it's going to be 223.2 inches squared. Next example, we're going to now use that formula and apply it in a different way versus just simply finding the area. So bathroom wall tile is in the shape of a regular pentagon. So that means all sides are the same. Mrs. Gripe uses 142 and a half tiles to cover her wall. The area of the wall is 114 square feet. We're going to find the length of each side of the pentagon. Again, we're finding the length of each side of this pentagon. Essentially, we're going to find the base of one of the triangles that makes up that wall tile. 
So we have a wall tile. That wall tile is in the shape of a pentagon. It consists of five triangles. We want the base of one of those triangles. Now, if I want the base, I'm going to need other information, such as the height of the triangle, and I'm going to need the area of this whole tile right here. If I don't have the area of that tile, I can't really do anything. So how am I going to find the area of one wall tile? Well, it tells me the area of the whole wall. So our first step is to find the area of one tile by taking the area of the whole wall and dividing it by how many tiles that are on the wall. So what's the area of the wall? 114 square feet. How many tiles are there? She covered it in 142 and a half tiles. So 114 divided by 142.5. we get 8 tenths. So the area of one wall tile is 0.8 square feet. So that's our first step. What am I going to do with that information? I'm going to take that area and put it in the formula. So that's our second step. Write your formula for a regular polygon, such as a regular pentagon. That would be area equals one half times base times height times number of sides. Next step, fill it in. Do I know the area? Yes, I do. We just found it to be eight tenths. Equals one half times, do I know the base? No, I'm going to solve for B. Do I know the height? Yes, the height of one of the triangles is 0.64, so a little bit more than half a foot. And how many sides are there? It's a pentagon, so five. All right, next step, start simplifying. 0.8 equals what's one half times B times 0.64. That would be 0.32B. Bring down our five. Next step, continue simplifying. 0.32 times b times 5. Let's do that. 0.32 times 5. We get 1.6. b. Don't forget to bring down your letter. Since I've been putting in parentheses all along, I'm going to continue with that. All right. I want to get b by itself. So I need to get rid of the 1.6. This is 1.6 times b. So the opposite is divide. So we're going to divide by 1.6 on both sides. The 1.6 is cancel on the right side, leaving us with b. On the left side, we're going to take 0.8 divided by 1.6. And we get 1 half, or 0.5. So we just found the base to be 0.5. That is the length of each side of the pentagon. So we're going to say the length is 0.5 feet, not feet squared. We're not finding area. We're finding a distance, a length. All right. One more shape that we're going to go over, kites. Kites are similar to regular polygons in that they're made up of triangles. However, not all of the triangles are identical. So what is a kite? A kite is a quadrilateral that's just a four-sided polygon with two equal pairs of adjacent sides. The diagonals cut each other at right angles. So if I look at a kite, the diagonals are the lines that crisscross. Adjacent means side by side, next to each other. So you can look at it as 
this diagonal right here has cut into this triangle, which will be equal to this triangle that's right next to it over here. You can also break it down. This triangle will be equal to this adjacent triangle. This triangle would be equal to this adjacent triangle. Okay, so our problem is Jada drew a kite as shown below. We simply need to find the area of the kite. To do this, we need to recognize that based on the information I'm given, I'm given the height of that triangle and I'm given the height of this bottom large triangle and I'm given the base of both of them. So essentially, I want to find the area of the top triangle and the area of the bottom triangle and then add them together. So that's what we're going to do. So, first step. Let's find the area of the top triangle, which we're going to call A, just to keep it orderly. All right, so what's the information for the top triangle, or A? The height is 3, and the base is 8. So, formula is A area equals 1 half times base times height. Next step, substitute. Area equals 1 half times the base is 8, the height is 3. Next step, multiply. Area equals 1 half times 8 is 4. Bring down your 3. So area equals 4 times 3 is 12. 12 centimeters squared. Since it's not my answer, I'm not going to worry about a label. Next step, let's find the area of the bottom triangle, which we're going to call B. So, notice my base is going to be the same as the base of the other triangle. They share the same base. They're both 8. Now, this triangle is technically much taller. How tall is it? It says it's 6. So, first step, formula. Area equals 1 half times base times height. Area equals 1 half times the base is 8. And the height is 6. Next step, area equals 1 half times 8 is 4. And we're now going to multiply by 6. So area equals 4 times 6 is 24. So the area of the large bottom triangle is 24. The area of the top triangle is 12. Now all we have to do is add them. So 12 plus 24, we get 36. Now that's going to be our final answer, so we're going to put a label on it. So we're going to say the area of the kite is 36 centimeters squared. It's area. So how many squares of a specific size can you cover a surface in? I hope this has helped with finding area of regular polygons such as pentagons, hexagons, heptagons, kites. If it has not, I hope you can find what you're looking for elsewhere. Y'all have a great day.